everybody welcome back to another tutorial this one is going to be for the spikes for a boutique bow uh, by the time we are done we will have a bow that looks like this sort of just not unicorn um, I will be doing a tutorial for a full bow with all of the pieces so keep an eye out for that this one again is just the spikes the supplies you are going to need are a needle and thread you're gonna need your lighter scissors and a glue gun quick not my thread because I'm unprepared for the tutorial you are also going to need nine pieces of 7 8 inch wide ribbon cut to five and a half inches long. Um, you're also going to want to V cut both ends of those pieces. As you can see, my stack is already done. So V cut all of your pieces, heat seal the ends, and when you are ready, you're going to lay out your spikes in the pattern in which you want. I predetermined my pattern. Oops, starting from the wrong end. So you're just going to lay out your spikes like so. Make sure the ends touch but they're not overlapping. So like that. And you're going to do this for all of your pieces. It helps if you stack the spikes in the order in which you want to put them on. So you can just grab from the top of the stack and keep going. As you can see, we are doing an Easter bow. We have done the, um, we've done videos for all the other pieces and the full bow will be, I have a link to all of the tutorials for the um, pieces for you guys. I will not be doing the pieces in the video. don't have to be perfect but close enough and once you lay out the final piece your spike should look somewhat like this not required but you can use a large salon clip or a couple of other clips to just hold the pieces together as you pick up. Um, my salon clips have wandered away somewhere. I'm not 100% certain. So I'm just using these clips to pick up all of the pieces for the most part. Of course, it doesn't grab that one center one, which shifts when I pick it up. But take your needle and thread, thread it through the center back, like so. I don't sew up the spikes, I don't find it necessary. And then I just wrap. This is why I don't sew. I wrap the thread around the spikes once. Lay them down flat on the table. Put your fingers over them, but make sure the thread is between your fingers. 
and take the thread. This is where the upholstery thread comes in handy. Make sure to push down with your hands, not to the point where the spikes won't move, but just so that they don't wiggle where you don't want them. Pull as tight as you can manage. Pick up your spikes and then just wrap the thread around a couple more times, making sure every other, every couple of wraps to pull tight. One more wrap, I think. There you go. And then when you've wrapped enough where you're sufficiently happy with it, we tie off on the back. Again, we just slip our needle through. I'm going to catch the knot from the beginning because for whatever reason it's hanging out and that bothers me. <laughs> and then wrap the thread around the needle a couple of times. Pull tight. Cut off the excess. All right, this is what your spike should look like when you're done. Now comes time for the fixing portion of it. Also, we are going to be gluing our spikes. I do this so that my spikes stay perfectly fanned out no matter what. But if you find one of your spikes is a little shorter, just give a couple of yanks and it will even out. So I start from the center, left or right, it really doesn't matter. And I run glue along I need a glue stick. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough. And if you have any spillage, take your lighter. Sorry guys, the my bathroom is right on the other side of my office and I have some felines in there that are acting up. Let me move stuff so I can get my glue gun a little bit closer. Alright, and then you continue with the spikes, just gluing one to the other. Again, if you have any spillage, take your lighter, heat it up, and wipe it off. And then you just go around the spikes. Why is my there we go? My glue gun yeah, my glue gun didn't want to spit out glue. I got a new one because you guys remember my nasty one. It's not nasty anymore. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to show you guys that glue gun with as nasty as it was. But this one just doesn't seem to want to work. Today, for whatever reason, push it through a little bit more. We make it work here. <laughs> A little 
little bit that set before I was ready. That happens to you, like getting rid of this village, just run your later over, heat it up. It'll remelt the glue enough that you can get it to do what you want to do with it. All right, sorry I had to pause to fix my glue gun. So you just continue going through. In order to keep this from being incredibly long, I'm going to pause and come back once all of my spikes are glued together. If you have a lot of spillage on the back, it may take a couple tries with the lighter to get it all cleaned up, but I promise it'll work. So I will be back once all of my spikes are glued. All right, we are back. Once you are done gluing your spikes, they should look like this, perfectly fanned out. They will stay this way even after you put the bow together, they will be fanned out permanently like this. Um, it gives a nice look to your bow when the spikes are all fanned out. As I said, I will be doing a video that shows you how to do a full bow with the Twisted Boutique bow, the surround, the side bows, the spikes and the base bow, obviously, as well as the clip. Um, I do have a tutorial for adding the um, eyelet lace flowers to the bow. I will make sure to link that in the full bow. But thank you guys for tuning in. This is the finished spikes. And in the next video, we will be doing the full bow. Um, if you have any questions or comments or requests for other tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. If you are not already subscribed, why not? I'm sure you've watched several videos already, so just go ahead, click that subscribe button somewhere around there. Next to it should be the bell icon. Click the bell icon, set your notifications to all so you are notified every time I upload a new bow video. Um, as after the full bow, I am going to be doing a, uh, review on some silicone finger grips that I got from Amazon. Uh, they are supposed to prevent burns with the hot glue gun. So I'm going to be doing a review of those. I will post that as well. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye.